the environment surrounding the cars on this crash. Uh, it happened shortly before 10 a.m. local time in California. And uh, the Sheriff's Department is saying that the crash ignited a brush fire, which made it difficult for firefighters and emergency personnel to get to the aircraft. And you can see it. I mean, it's tough to see in all that smoke and fog. And apparently, there was quite a bit of uh, foggy conditions in the hills above Calabasas when the helicopter went down. But clearly, uh, it, it, it must have been difficult flying conditions for the pilot, but also clearly continues to be very difficult conditions uh, for the first responders to try to get to and assess the scene. I, I just like to reset for folks who are just now tuning in. We have learned, and there are reports, that Kobe Bryant, the one of the greatest basketball players of all times, has reportedly died in a helicopter crash along with four other people. Uh, the helicopter crash happened in Calabasas. Uh, we believe that Kobe Bryant was flying on his personal helicopter uh, from his home to a location that is still to be determined. And at some point, there was what appeared to be a fire on the helicopter, and that brought the helicopter down to the point where you are seeing right now a thick plume of smoke coming from the hills of Calabasas, California, on a very foggy day there. And Jim, it is just, it's hard to, it's hard to put words to. It's really hard to believe. This is one of the greatest basketball players that ever lived, and also just a giant in the Los Angeles, California area. I mean, it's hard to think of people that were more beloved by people who live in Los Angeles than Toby Bryant. Well, you said that exactly correct. Uh, he won five championships as a Lakers, and he was uh, uh, always uh, going to be tied to that organization, uh, to the NBA. Um, no one will ever forget the, uh, the championships that he won uh, with Shaquille O'Neal. Uh, they had a very famous party of the way, uh, and, and Shaquille left the organization. Kobe had asked to be traded. Uh, uh, Dr. Jerry Buss, who owned the team, uh, kept him there, and he, and he went on to win uh, two more championships, mm -hmm. uh, combining with Pau Gasol. And uh, uh, Kobe, uh, to a certain extent, uh, uh, wanted to be able to show that uh, he was not just the guy who was going to win with Shaq. Uh, and so they uh, had a, had a, a very uh, famous divorce, uh, and they patched it up quite quite well uh, in, in recent years, both recognizing that they were young uh, and uh, that they were probably much better together than they were alone. Uh, but Kobe did prove that to himself, winning two championships. Uh, uh, Phil Jackson was the coach at that time. Uh, he had come uh, uh, back into uh, coaching after uh, his uh, uh, death with the uh, um, Chicago Bulls, mm -hmm. uh, and, and then Kobe uh, Bryant uh, on his, his final evening uh, when he retired a few years ago, uh, put up 60 plus points uh, in his final game uh, at the Staples Center, uh, coming back from an Achilles uh, injury, uh, which uh, would have ended many people's career, but uh, Kobe worked really, really hard with uh, Dr. Neil Elitraj, who came back and didn't want to go out with uh, yeah, uh, he was just he was just he was a remarkable basketball player. And, uh, Such resilience, Jim. Uh, and you know, in addition to all of these stats that we could rattle off about Kobe Bryant, the basketball player, as you said, Kobe Bryant now survived by his wife Vanessa and their four daughters, Gianna, Natalia, and Bianca, and their newborn daughter, Capri. Uh, such a terrible story that we are learning about, and now ESPN has confirmed that Kobe Bryant. One of the all-time basketball greats has died in a helicopter crash in Calabasas, California. The cause still under investigation. First responders just getting there. The NTSB is on its way, and we believe four other people were also killed in this helicopter crash. Uh, but one of the all-time greatest basketball players dead today at just 41 years old. Very sorry to bring you the news. And Arthel and Eric pick it up.